See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Keeping it nice and simple. But if you had to go and check Twitter out on this web page, it would mean that it's just another web page that you have to go to to you know check things out in the morning. You've got to check your email and you check your reader and you check all these different things. And all of a sudden, oh gosh, here's another thing I have to check, which is a big reason why people um, don't stick with Twitter, which as I said in the past videos, is of absolute tragedy. So I want to introduce you to the tool that we're going to recommend people doing the 30-day challenge use. It's an interesting selection because power users of Twitter would use a tool called TweetDeck. Indeed, in 30 Day Challenge Plus, we teach people how to use TweetDeck. But I've got to say, for you starting out now, it's not the right tool. It's too complex. So the tool that we're going to show you, and it's a superb one, is called Seismic Desktop. And there are two reasons we've chosen Seismic. One is in terms of screen real estate. It just uses one column, which is fantastic. Okay, so it just uses one, you can have it sitting off on the side of your screen or minimized and you can just pop it up. So you can just be sitting off there. The second huge reason is it integrates beautifully with Facebook. So it kills two birds, pardon the pun, with one stone. You're gonna be able to get all your Twitter stuff. Plus, and if you're not on Facebook yet, we're gonna show you in pre-season all about that. You'll also be able to get your Facebook stuff and you'll be able to comment and like on your Facebook stuff, which is so important as well. Now, the cool thing about that, of course, it's one tool, so you don't have to go to Facebook, you don't have to go to Twitter. You can just do it all in this one desktop. And there's a lot of powerful stuff in there too, but we'll save that. Let's go over the basics. Let's download Seismic. It's completely cross-platform, I should say, which is awesome. It's built on the Adobe Air platform, uh, same platform Market Samurai is built on. So it means Linux, Mac, PC, whatever, does not matter, which is very cool. So go and check it out. And as always, remember, high definition down there. You can watch this video in high definition. And don't forget, all the support materials, training, transcripts, and everything else are available at www.30daychallenge.com. Let's go check out Seismic Desktop. Hi everybody and welcome back to this next video in the Twitter series. Now guys, I've been telling you that the most important part of making sure you're not one of the 50 to 60% of people who drop off Twitter inside a month is to show you the right tools to use during the 30 day challenge and of course beyond. Now we have been doing an extraordinary amount of testing of all sorts of different tools and for the 30 day challenge purposes and particularly if you're new to Twitter, we feel that Seismic Desktop here is the best option. And I'm going to show you why. But of course, before I can show you why, I have to show you how to install it. And the good news is it's super sweet to install because it's an Adobe Air app. So all we have to do, first of all, I should point out that the URL is desktop.seismic.com. So there we are. That's the, uh, that is the URL that you need to go to, desktop.seismic.com. And once you're here, you'll see this page. You may want to enter in your name and email address to get any uh, information I have, and they're very good about it, and it's nice to be kept in touch. And all you have to do, and you can see it's available for Mac and PC, all you have to do is click Install Now. Check this out. There we are. Now, would you like to open or save this file? I'll open it because we're going to go straight away. Okay, so you'll see an install box here. And what we want to do is click install, which is great. It, I always put it in the default area, which happens to be applications on this machine. Click continue. And you'll get some sort of warning on the Macintosh. We get this one, very clever. So we click open. All we have to do is add our Twitter account. And so all we need to do, so remember, if you remember, Ed Dale's Strat and click Add. Now I have to put in the password. 
want to save that password. Uh, retweet RT is a good idea. Enable notifications, we definitely want to do. I would leave all of this. We can worry about all of this stuff later. Don't worry about it now. It's fine for you. It's only when you become a power user does that become an issue. On the Ed Dale Strat, and you can see here's my updates. Remember, we added myself, and you can see somebody here has added at Ed Dale Strat. So I've got that at Ed Dale Strat message. There's a message from Guru Bob, and there's a couple of tweets from people. So there you have it. We're set up and we're ready to go. So what I want to do is show you how to operate Seismic in this basic window. So this small window, because the idea is to just keep it nice and out of the way. So we keep it, um, and let's set that up there. You can manage multiple accounts with Seismic, which is great. I'm not going to show you how to do that now because, as I say, I want to keep this super simple. Twitter is absolutely vital to your marketing efforts. And if we don't keep it super simple for you, you're not going to be, you're going to be one of the 50 to 60 percent who drop out. And that would be a crying shame. That will go a long way to ruining your chances of success in a marketplace. Yes, I think Twitter is that serious. So let's try keep it nice and simple to start off. Okay, so let's have a look at what we see when we come up with a uh, our desktop. First of all, you can see a whole bunch of tweets in here and we'll go and explain those tweets. First, I want to show you here the various sections. You can see there's home and that is all of the accounts that will show you all of the accounts so when you've got multiple accounts you'll see here i've got facebook again we'll show you facebook later one of the key reasons that we choose seismic is because you integrate twitter and facebook into the one client which i just love so if we click home that will show you all of these columns at the moment if you click home and you've just got the one account which is hopefully what you should have then you'll just see whatever it is in my case ed dale strat You'll be able to see at replies, private messages when people send you direct messages. Again, I'll explain all that shortly and sent messages. And as I say, it does have the capability of multiple accounts. It also has a function called user lists. This can be handy when you're following a few people and you want to say divide it up into work, colleagues and all that sort of thing. Again, not something I'm going to show you today because again, we want to start small. But for those of you who are following a lot of people and you want to create groups, that's how you'll do it. Now when we're posting, it's literally as simple as just adding a text and pressing the send button. And that's all we have to do. And for example, if we go to Ed, oh, wrong, wrong account. That's my account. <laughs> Ed Dale Strat. There we are. You can see that we've just added the post, which is very cool. We can add a link by clicking an add URL. So if we wanted to attach, we can copy that in. You can also shorten that by using these, all these, sh and you've got all these different uh, shortening URL services. So rather than having a big, huge, long URL, you can have a nice short one. Um, so use whatever you like there. You can also add an image to your post, which is really cool. You can drag and drop there. We could open up the uh, webcam, for example. There we are. And we can, there's a whole bunch of services there that people use. Some may use different ones. TwitPick works just fine. We can click OK. And we could type, you know, this is me recording live. Click send. And up it pops. You can see there we are, which is very, very cool indeed. You can also shrink the text to help you shorten the words. And it uses like texting language. If you've seen that, you know, uh, BTW, by the way, you know, for you, number four, you, the letter U, rather than F-O-R, Y-O-U, etc. You can do that. You've, of course, one of the key things I should point out with Twitter, of course, is that you have 140 characters. So it really does work like a text message. Again, you can post to your various accounts by selecting 
one of these. Uh, at the moment, you'll probably only have one. Later on, we'll add your Facebook, and you may indeed go multiple accounts when you have a niche. But again, we'll cover that at a later date. So you can choose where to post, which is which is very cool as well. So that's the basic operations. When we come back in the next video, I want to show you some of the uh, cool extra stuff that you can do with all of this. All right, we'll speak soon.